much would you pay to know what is inside your pet's brain, what they're thinking? According to the U.S. Census Bureau, there are officially more American households living with a pet than a child. Some homeowners and dog and animal owners, uh, they're hiring animal communicators to address the root causes of medical issues or behavioral problems. Our next guest has a waiting list of nearly 8,000 prospective clients willing to pay her $550 a session. Joining us now, attorney at law turned pet communicator, Nikki Vascones. Thank you so much, Nikki, uh, for being here. First, maybe just describe what an animal communicator is. Are you an animal psychic or an animal interpreter or a pet whisperer? Great question. All of those phrases mean the same thing. You'll hear animal communicator, pet psychic, but what that means is just you're telepathically communicating with animals. So you receive images or thoughts in your mind or feelings in your body for the animal to express what they like, what they don't like, what they want or need. So you're not a pet psychologist. You really do have some type of, you, you call it telepathic communication with an animal. Yes, it's a two-way dialogue with an animal. I'm not reading body language. I'm not looking at their body and thinking what might what they might need based on how they look. It's very much a dialogue like you and I are having right now, just all in my head. It's nonverbal communication. Do people sometimes give you like send you hate emails, like think that you're that you're different, like you're you're strange for thinking oh, that you can Oh my gosh. If I had a dollar for every hate email I got or every negative comment, I'd be a billionaire, yes. But for every hate comment, there's vastly more people that appreciate and love what I do. Well, and, and you, you are getting paid for this. $550, that's 90-minute sessions. That's more than therapy for humans. So how does someone really know that you are actually in communication with their pet? How do you confirm that? When I do my sessions, I strive to get very specific details about the animal itself, but also their home and information about the humans that I would have no way of knowing if it didn't come from the animal. So my sessions aren't, oh, your dog likes to go for a walk and they love their ball. That might come through if that's true, but it's very specific stuff that the owner sits back and they're like, okay, wait a minute, that was a little weird, but a little bit cool. Okay, so you say you're self-taught. You, you actually bought or, or ordered a number of different animal communicator books, uh, and now you're actually educating others. Have you become a millionaire through this? <laughs> no, because what most people don't understand is that I can't do sessions all day long. So I'm not charging $550 a session times eight, nine sessions a day. I just do one a day. And the other big part of my business is teaching people. I have an online school and that's my passion because I, as Nikki, can only talk to a limited number of animals. But if I help educate others that, hey, you can do this too, so many more animals across the world get their voice heard. You've helped owners of camels, cats, yes. dogs, any any other exotic animals I need to point out? Um, a bearded dragon. I don't know if that's an exotic animal, but yeah. I just went to Thailand and I communicated with some elephants at the sanctuary. But I've talked to pigs, donkeys, goats. How? Do, no fish. No fish yet. Okay, well, maybe a goldfish will be next. I guess I'm trying to figure out, is this intuitive? Is it that you just have an affinity for animals? Or, I mean, how many, I, how could people not think that this could be a scam somewhere? You, you just, you seem very pleasant. I'm not saying you're a scammer. I'm just saying, how do people know this isn't just somebody, you know, just being in touch with all of God's creation? Great question. Telepathic communication, which is how I'm connecting with the animals, is something that every single human being innately has within them. There have been times, Adrian, where your phone rang and before you even looked at it, you knew who was calling you. Or a friend or a family member was about to ask you a question. And before they spoke the words out loud, you answered them because you knew what they were going to say. That's telepathy, which is why I always say, if you're a human being, you can learn to do this. Now, back to your question about how do people know I'm not just a fraud or a scam, it really comes down to experiencing a session and experiencing the very specific information that comes through that maybe you never even told somebody about. It gets very detailed into your own personal life. So I often say that animals can spill the tea because they don't have a filter. They just share what you need to know. And then you see that play out in your life. Nikki Vascones, a very interesting continued success with your school and with your sessions. And 
I mean, I hope that everybody's animals are happier. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.